Hi, welcome again. Today I want to show you the improved version of OpenLens Mega Scan integration. So if you're not familiar with OpenLens Mega Scan integration, so basically you can do something like this. See here I have a landscape and uh, you can see some sort of sand over here. And let's say I need to change this um, sand texture. This is how we can do that with OpenLens Mega Scan integration. I can go to this widget and then I can select the material layer. So in this case sand. And then I can select the mega scan texture from the, this drop down. So basically, these are the textures that I downloaded from the Quixel Bridge. Comes with Unreal Engine 5. And then let's say, all right, I'm okay with this texture. And then I can simply hit Assign. Then you can see it do something like this. As you can see, sizing of these bricks are not that correct. So I can simply change them from here over here. Let me set the near tiling to one maybe, and the far tiling. Let's give something like five. All right, now it seems like, yeah, correct, like this. Likewise, I can simply change these textures. For example, if I want to like change this to something like a soil texture, I can totally do that. Like in this case, I can increase the near tiling and far tiling like this. So it's super simple. And that's what the OpenLens Megascan integration does. If you don't know about this functionality, check the description below on the links on how you can get the OpenLen and also how you can use this feature with your landscape. All right, now let's have a look at what are the new updates that we shipped with this version of OpenLand. Now, let's say I need to change the something with my slope texture over here. I think I might increase the tiling a little bit. So then I select the material layer over here and I can select slope. In this case, my tiling is around 10 and 40, uh, near 10 and far 40. And here I'm going to just increase to something like maybe 60. Now you can see it changes on the slope and yeah that's expected now let's go back to my sand area sand layer right then i let's say i need to change this to maybe reduce the tiling a little bit something like this okay I, I can simply do that and then i go back to my slope so i can see the actual changes that i made earlier but earlier versions open land uh, you don't see something like this because when you simply change these layers we will reset that to the default settings so it's a little bit hard to do changes that you made but right now it's super simple because we reload the change that you have on the actual landscape so it's easy to change but that's number one the other thing is texture resolution then if you go to the mega scan surfaces directory and here we have the actual textures that we use so let's have a look at this rock texture this cliff texture here with um, mega scans for unreal engine 5 uh, it packs some of these textures into a single ORT texture like this. So here our tool does something very interesting. Um, let me show you. We can delete this displacement and roughness textures because they are generated by this tool. Right then I can simply assign this button. As you can see we generate two textures like roughness and displacement. Earlier we set this resolution for these textures by 2k. By default that's hard coded. But right now we will look at the actual resolution of this ORD texture and then we generate the uh, texture with similar resolution. In this case, this is 4K and we created a 4K texture as well. Yes, this is not a major improvement, but I think uh, this will improve the quality of your project and as well as your workflow on working with this tool. All right, again, if you're not familiar with the OpenLand and OpenLand's Megascan integration, uh, check the description below. We have relevant links on how you can get OpenLand even for free and also use this tool correctly. All right, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.